Nice work. Uh, well that's bullshit right there. You got this, honey. How'd you do that? This has to be some sort of gender record. Mind over matter. How high did you go? All right, babe. <laughs> oh! <laughs> How was that? How were your miles? That was so good. That was so, so good. I had such a... Look, it's hot out here, and I don't know how you do this every day. But thank you so much, man. So long, Maps. It's been real. I'll see you soon, dude. Bye, Maps! Bye, Maps! Bye, <laughs> I love that guy. So, summer is nearing its um, unwelcomed end. And for those of you who know me at all, you know that I get severely depressed and turn into a total freak out monster at the end of summer. On top of that, Candace is getting more pregnant every minute of every day and her ability to move is dwindling. So we decided this past weekend that we would go out to the beach. So today is Friday and we are taking a little family trip to the beach for one day. We come back tomorrow. Francine, are you excited? Mm -hmm. What are you most excited about? The beach. Candace is getting snacks right now. What's taking mommy so long? I don't know, we have to see. She doesn't know, we'll have to see. We are about two hours into the drive. I'm no longer allowed to drive because I'm a terrible driver, so I'm in the back with the kid. How much further? One hour. One hour. Francine, what's that thing called? A compass. No, a windmill. Granny, look, there's the ocean. We're at the beach. Yay! 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 We're there! Okay, we made it. This is the hotel we're staying at. We leave tomorrow. It's kind of a lot of driving for one night, but that's okay. Ugh. Francine and Candace are already up there. I carry this stuff. I'm the, I'm the dad. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, nice room. Where's the pool? Right there. Well, day's almost over, but I'm gonna go for a little swim in the pool before the sun sets. I know this is shaping up to be a great vlog. Uh, it's. When the weather's fine, we go fishing or go sailing in the sea. We're always happy. But, well, we woke up the next morning. The rain never stopped. Uh, it ended up just being mommy, daddy, and Franny hanging around in a hotel room for, for 24 hours. It was lovely, but I thought I would use this opportunity of having a failed episode to share with you a, a kind of a story. Okay, this is it. I have 4.8 more and I got it. Wait, 4.7 more and I got it. So believe it or not, I love to run. And I don't know, every once in a while I get these sort of freak outs. I'm getting so old, I'm 37. I start to feel like an old man. I don't know, it probably is irrational, but I wanted to challenge myself to see what I was like, see what I was capable of, to see what I, how far I could push my body. I really don't feel like running right now. 
because it's just gross out and my shoes are wet. But four miles, no big deal. I'll sleep through this. Whew. And I think unless you test yourself, you don't really know what you're capable of. So, you know, I run a lot. I run like 40, 50, 60 miles a week, which is a lot of miles in a week. And I wanted to give myself a real challenge. So a, a marathon is 26.2 miles. So three marathons would be 70, what is 26.2 times three? The answer is 78.6. So three marathons is 78.6 miles. So I thought, why not try to do in seven days, from Sunday until Saturday, in seven days, try to run the equivalent of four marathons. That is 104.8 miles. In order to do this, it means running about 15 miles a day, which is a lot. This is kind of tough, it's late. We're on vacation this weekend. It's like 10 at night, the kid just went to sleep. I already did 13 this morning, but if I want to get across that threshold, I got to get in at least five more right now, which means I only have to do 14 more tomorrow. No, 19 more tomorrow. Got to do it. It was, um, I think the hardest part of giving myself such a stupid challenge was finding the time. See, I still have the kid and the pregnant wife at home. I still have a job. I still, I still uploaded five videos last, I had to figure out how to run 105 miles in addition to living my normal life. And it was a lot to do. These late night miles are so tough. Everybody's like out partying, exhausted. It's uh, 10.45 now. I'm glad I'm clocking miles. I'm like stacking chips right now. Those miles are just piling on. But... You know, I'm 37 years old and like, this leg here, this is all made from titanium because of a motorbike accident like 10 years ago. And I'm not supposed to be running and I don't stretch and look. Well, I almost can. I can't even touch my toes. Uh, I've broken half the bones in my body. I've got a lot of problems. But for whatever reason, I have like a broken chromosome where I can just run. I never got tired. My legs never got tired. My lungs never got tired. My stomach never got tired. The only thing that would happen every single day is that I'd run out of time. Candace would be calling or have to get to work or a meeting or something like that. That was hugely positive. You like drive an old car, a car that's 37 years old, and then you like hit the gas and it just goes fast. You're like, my car still works. My car still works. The rain, pouring rain right now. Rain is not an excuse, you know. Run right through it. Okay, I will get there. 104.8 miles, got it, I got this. My wife made fun of me. She called me a sociopath, maybe a psychopath, I don't remember. Farewell. Farewell, Franny. All right, Candace, this is it. Four more miles and I will have done it. Gosh, it's amazing. It's almost like carrying a child in your birth. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> I'm really glad I did it and I think that it, it, in, whether it's something silly like how far can you run or anything else in life it was a reminder for me of the importance of challenging yourself you know challenging yourself doesn't always have to be climbing a mountain or running around the world or doing something wild and ambitious but for me it, it was just about putting on my sneakers and getting out there and seeing what I was capable of physically. And for that, I think my biggest takeaway was just a greater appreciation of the fact that um, I am extremely lucky to be 37 and have a body that's capable that lets me do what I wanna do where I can still do these kinds of things. It makes me wanna eat better and, I don't eat better and sleep more, I still don't sleep that much. And just be more responsible with my body because it's something that I hope to never lose. All right, that's like five and a half miles. I think that puts me at 105.1 or something for the week, which means victory is mine. I did it. Four marathons, seven days, 105 plus miles. All right. That's it, I did it, 105 miles. Uh, I wanna end this by saying, I wanna say this publicly, I wanna say this on the record, I want you to hold me accountable for this. Um, 
My next self-imposed, completely unnecessary challenge is going to be to run seven marathons in seven days. That's like 160 miles in seven days. But a marathon a day for a week. I wanna do that sometime next couple of years. Hold me to it. Well, we're going home tonight, but we came all the way to the beach to go to the beach. Rain or shine, we're going to the beach. You ready? Yeah. Hold my hand. Oh. Ready? Ah, all right, I'll see you tomorrow after my run.